Chimpanzees anticipate action go in the same way as adult, human adults. But importantly, chimpanzees rarely pay attention to others' face. Mainly, they mainly focus on the object related to information. In contrast, humans refer to others' face, depending on context in and the coding process of others' action. So I think humans view goal directed to actions by integrating information of others, mental state, and the manipulated object, both. So um, this is my tentative conclusion that this basic perceptual different basic attentional patterns may be reflected in the difference of human specific actual understanding of others. Yes, mm. but from five and six years. Probably adult? Uh, difficult to um, say the adult, but uh, at the same time we may say the adolescence. Mm, but never included the infancy. Yes, please. Has this been done on people with autism? Yes. Next mm -hmm. slide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide. <What>? Please wait. <laughs> So uh, this is my assumption that the mentalized system is uniquely human. Maybe chimpanzees have not so enough uh, ability of mentalizing system. And uh, from the developmental perspective, perspective, even in the three and a half year old, uh, may still developing the mentalizing function. So we are now collecting the data of the ASD uh, infant from the three to seven years old. But at the moment, we confirm that their looking pattern mm, in the coding process of uh, the goal direct, direct action is totally different from the typical developing children. Regarding this data, this is just uh, uh, unpublished data. So please uh, ask me personally. Later. <laughs> so may I have uh, several minutes? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. Mm, this is my final uh, slide. So finally, I want to show you some um, possible uh, example of the emergence of mentalizing function in humans. When I was a very young, uh, and when I was uh, 25 years. I uh, stayed at the Africa, and I uh, conducted a very casual experiment regarding the imitation learning and imitative game. So at around two years, they are two years, so humans seem to begin to inhibit mirror neural system, and instead they uh, function to start the mirror, uh, sorry, mentalizing system. And uh, for example, more completely, uh, two-year-old infants not only imitate others' action automatically, but also they imitate uh, the intentionally, depending on the context. So in this playing situation, the two uh, infant babies are playing with uh, steel cans and sticks. And during their playing situation, this, maybe, these babies accidentally drop the can. At that time, how the boy tried to do? Please see this video clip. But they never show such behavior. <laughs> and furthermore, uh, with the development of mentalizing function, human begin to teach others who cannot uh, spontane spontaneously reach their uh, action goal. Please see this video clip again. Uh, they try to uh, open the lid of the cam. But this only this baby could uh, open the lid, but the other boy could not. 
compared to in this situation how uh, do uh, the, this boy try to do toward the uh, other boys open Open and return to the calm, to the original owner. <laughs> Amazing. So before acquiring, acquiring the language, humans have a very um, interesting nature to show active teaching to other individuals. The chimpanzee never show such active teaching. Why is that teaching, isn't it, helping? Because um, Mm. Yeah, so so very, the definition of helping is very difficult to define. For example, uh, helping is included the intention to want to help, you know? But uh, the teaching behavior, maybe it's, uh, the, they, the baby seemed to uh, uh, provided the information to open the camp to the other boys. So I want to discriminate the teaching and helping. In this case, so the, the little boy wants to open the camp. Mm. And this boy? So which, he, which one? Uh, the one right now. Yes, yes. I, I thought he was a little mm. boy. So, so it, it looked like to me that so the boy on the little boy wanted to open the can, so the big brother opened it mm. for him. Might be. <laughs> and mm. So did he afterwards um, learn to open it? The yes, little boy learned exactly. To yes. Also, oh, is it? Oh, so that's the reason why yes. you put yes. teaching. Yes. Yes. So this is a video uh, that uh, previously you see. This is a, a nut cracking behavior, and it takes over five years to master this kind of tool using. But chimpanzee mother never, never teach uh, the how to crack the nut to the infant. Never, even in the mother infant situation. So then, uh, the chimpanzee infant uh, try to master the, this kind of tool using behavior by themselves by try and error and observational uh, learning. So pay much attention to their uh, adult behavior, but they never give the crack nut to infant. <laughs> hmm. So accum by accumulating this kind of trial and error uh, behaviors, they at last the infant uh, master the uh, not blocking behavior at around six or seven years. Um, I worked with bonobos for two years as an undergraduate oh, really? in wow. San, San Diego, mm -hmm. uh, and there, there was there was a, a termite mound. It was it was actually a fake termite mound that they put barbecue sauce inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but it, was, it was part of the, the habitat there, mm -hmm. and the, the adults uh, they they take branches and strip off the bark, and then they mm -hmm. they can dip it in there and get the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. Now th there there was um, one of the moms I remember very regularly would hold the baby bonobo with her, do the same thing, and and even give the barbecue sauce to the baby. Oh, really? And 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 even put you know even like here hold the branch. See, it seemed very, very much facilitated. Oh, and, really? Uh, and I, I know that, that later on, uh, infants that didn't have that kind of experience growing mm -hmm. up couldn't, couldn't do that. It was really mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. a culturally learned mm -hmm. thing. Oh, I see. see. You have to write the paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting. It, it did seem like a yeah. very active. Yeah. Like, at least from mom, mom like uh -huh. an uh -huh. adult. 
Of course, we have a limitation to how to interpret the chimpanzee's behavior. Very, how can I say, very uh, human-centered uh, view. Not very hard. Yes, the character is totally different from each other. Uh, so very frankly speaking, the bonobo is very gentle. Oh, yeah. mm. Mm. So very kind, very how can common, mm. calm, chimpanzee, or chimpanzee, <laughs> very aggressive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so I believe that this approach, uh, the cognitive, uh, the, uh, uh, comparative develop, uh, cognitive de development of science, may contribute to understand the human nature and the human um, mind, and of course the human consciousness uniqueness of human consciousness. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.